So this is a collaborative project with ourselves, the University of Sheffield, Loughborough University and Mixergy. And it's the testing and development of thermal energy storage technologies. That's really important as we start to decarbonize heating, move away from gas, move into electric heating, there's going to be a significant requirement for electricity within the built environment. And therefore storage is going to play a key role. But at the same time, as well as reducing carbon emissions, helping us transition to a renewable energy system, they should also provide savings for consumers. The great advantage we have here with our test houses is we can test those technologies, take them from the laboratories and test them in a real world environment with people living in those homes, using energy to see how they work in the real world. So we've got um, two technologies we're looking at, one based on phase change materials, one based on thermochemical materials. What we're installing today are the, the first of those, the phase change materials. Then will enable people to store up thermal energy during times of plenty, so when the sun's shining, the wind's blowing, and then make use of it when the, the colder weather kicks in and demand starts rising. So in the short term, these technologies have got the potential to really benefit uh, consumers, people who live in the homes, through reducing their energy bills. They can potentially charge these stores when electricity prices are cheap, so during the night or during low periods during the day, and offset that um, against the, the more expensive times so the peak periods as everybody gets home from work. In the longer term, this is going to be key to uh, moving towards a renewables-driven energy grid, where hopefully we're going to have lots more supply from wind, and we need to make the best use of that. Heat pumps are more efficient than the uh, conventional boilers and the furnaces, um, I think. And um, I'm expecting that it will lower down our energy bills about by uh, uh, minimum 30% or it may be up to 40% as well. Actually, we are living in, uh, in this creative energy home uh, uh, since 2019 and it's our fourth year. And we are very excited that uh, we are a part of this first phase of uh, installment here uh, in the University Park campus.